Yeah, it, this is crazy because I feel like we were just doing this for a hell of a life, and I, I still get this overwhelming feeling like I don't deserve to be up here. But I, I guess I want to start by saying thank you to Luke and Jared for giving me this song, for writing the song, and then for allowing me, and the publishers, allowing me to have it on hold. And I don't, I don't remember exactly how long we had it on hold before we cut it. A long time. Well... It, this is a really, it, I always thought Sunshine and Whiskey was a really good song, which means I'm sure that other people wanted to cut this song or wanted to hear it. And so thank you to everybody for holding it for an artist who didn't really have any mojo happening at the time. And there wasn't really a great reason for them to hold it for me, but they still did and allowed us to cut it. And it became, I think, my biggest hit so far. So thank you guys for believing that we could take it there. Yeah. It's, it's crazy to think about, you know, and, and thank you, of course, to Chris Lacey and Marshall. You know, we, we start the journey of listening to songs, outside songs, as well as me writing songs for a new album. And uh, there's a lot of songs that you hear and you kind of, yeah, I like that. You know, I, I, I do. I mean, maybe it's the demo is really good. You know, I'm not sure. Let me live with it, you know, and you'll, you'll listen to it many times before you decide whether or not it's something that you need to cut. But for Sunshine and Whiskey, the first time I heard it, I knew I, I knew I wanted to cut it. And the first chance I got, I was going to cut it. So it was one of those songs. I remember Mike Whalen said it to me for the first time. And where is Mike here? Where's Mike at? Big Mike. Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, you sent it to me, and I, I thank you. I don't know what inspired you to send it to me when you did, but you, he emailed it to me, and I listened to it online iPhone earbuds in the car, and I was jamming. I remember hearing DWK for the first time. And I thought, wow, that's that's really cool, and I think people are going to love this song. And it felt like me, and the demo was great. I just I couldn't wait and uh, to cut it. And I remember when we we cut it, um, I we actually cut Young and Crazy, Hell of a Life, and Sunshine Whiskey all on the same day. It was a good day. It was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and we we tracked it, and it felt good, and. and of all the songs on the Sunshine and Whiskey album, I think Sunshine and Whiskey was the, to the song that we toiled over the most as far as production and what guitars to put on it and what to, what to remove and what to... I remember the first sort of version that we had done with overdubs and everything sounded a little bit like it was too much and so we started the addition by subtraction process and started pulling things out. And I, I guess I want to thank Marshall for that because we really had to wrench on it to make it right. And uh, he allowed me to do that. You know, he allowed me to play different instruments on it and, and try to do things. And it was really an enjoyable experience for me because that's what I always wanted to do was to play and to be the guy who was either making it work or not making it work. So, and the nylon string part on, on uh, Sunshine and Whiskey was played by his mother's uh, little nylon string that he like learned to play guitar on, which was also a really cool thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just very thankful. And if it makes you guys feel any better, the publishers for holding those, uh, or holding that song for so long, we just cut a bunch more of your songs in Texas. We don't have to have them hold nearly as long this time. Uh, and the label, um, the, the Sunshine and Whiskey album came out, uh, and the Hell of a Life came out, and then Sunshine and Whiskey came out in the midst of not a lot of traction for me, you know, and they believed in me the whole way, and Espo, and Peter, and Scott, Chris, everybody, Lisa, everybody at the label uh, believed that I had it in me to make some hit music, and I have to really thank Warner for never wavering in that at all, and, and I, whenever I look at Espo or Anybody at the label, they always look back at me like, you know, we believe in you. So I just have to say thanks because that means a lot to me because if you're not sure about how the label feels about you, that's really going to affect how you make music and what you do. So thank you guys for giving me the confidence to make Sunshine and Whiskey happen. Yeah.